If today's going to be ready in a few minutes, then do you have time? Doing it anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, here we are. Pressed for time because of dinner. But we're pressing forward anyway. Let's see. i got to get my clock ready. All right. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two tiny little short weeny teeny minutes. Although I forgot to put my uh, little ink, my little inking glove, pinky glove on. Okay. It's now on. And uh, two minutes has started. So here we go. Um... I don't even start with my line of action. I start with this guy's shoulders. Um, I kind of drew the line of action for this guy uh, in the last video. So I kind of um, have it in my head. Oh boy. So let's see, get a waist on this fella. He's got his big pocket sticking out on his jeans and we got this loop here for his uh, whoops that was yucky so actually we got his little kneecap in there and then got a nice Long lower leg, right close to the camera, and then back up here. He's got this leg almost coming up a little bit. 40 seconds. Oh boy! Yeah, it didn't seem like two minutes. I'm not gonna let's see where is that. This is coming down almost to his. Well, as usual, I'm not going to get done. I've seen you get done before. I just peeked in. You were done, so. All right, this way. This comes, yeah, to the edge of his torso. So w one thing I haven't talked about that I should talk about maybe in the next one is... Um... Should I hit this mess? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so two minutes is gone. I didn't even get feet or arms drawn. <laughs> yeah, I did worse on this one than I think I have any other one. But I have to say, this one is, um, this one's quite challenging. There's so much uh, perspective going on here. Everything is in, everything is foreshortened. <laughs> The camera is low. Um, it, it, it makes it more challenging than you think. Uh, I believe it's challenging. So let's see. This guy's midline is actually at an angle. The clavicles come down here. And then there's everything's at an angle here. So this line is not even right. Then, so we have, uh, this comes up. And then, let's see, this is what? It's still up. Yeah, felt like yay. And then, come on, pencil, not eraser, please. Uh, This comes down and then would we'll drop down. Boy, oh boy. Boy, this, this is uh, what a mess this is. It's not a mess. Okay, there's the line of his knuckles, knuckle-wuckles. 
and then we get some uh, finger action going on. Yep, and then that comes down. Boy, this is such a mess. Okay, let's see here. I couldn't draw that well. Well, 52 versus 9. And, Just and saying, doesn't year, look... Years of uh, practice. Just saying, doesn't look like a mess to me. Well, it's awfully nice of you. Okay, so let's get this a little more in order, shall we? Okay, so now we got... Stop it. Boy, oh boy. All right. This needs to... <laughs> up some, and yet that elbow, elbow needs to curve down some. How do you pick out the photos for these? Uh, that's another thing I'm going to discuss on a different video. I I happen the the ones I'm starting with here are just ones I had found when looking for other reference. Mm -hmm. um, so I just happen to have them laying around. But then when I actually started to uh, when I knew I was going to do this, I actually went looking specifically for. Um, reference for the wow what a what a what a what a mess what is that even boy oh boy this is, oh that was the line of the shadow oh joy okay tell her i'll be there in just a minute i'm i'm uh, i got to i got to finish this I gotta save this from being a complete um, disaster. No disaster. <laughs> Tell her I'll be I'll be a few minutes. <sighs> okay, let's see. I'm just wondering if we should wait for you. No, you guys can go ahead and start. I'll, I'll be just a few minutes.
Wow, it's like today's one of those days where I just can't draw. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's it's one of those things. The, those things happen. Some days you just have the ability to draw more than others. Some days you sleep better and your brain uh is processing things better than others. I mean, that's not a joke. It's not a joke to say some days you draw better than others. That is as real as it gets. And when you're drawing for a living and you you run up against that, you just... And you have to get, you know, like a certain amount done. You just work on... Uh, You try to work on stuff that, that you hope that, you know, the next day. You try to work on stuff that, you know, like some pencils or something so that the next day when you show up, um, you know, to work, uh, to ink or whatever, and you're back on and doing much better, that you'll be able to... Um, <laughs> you'll be able to make up for it. You'll be able to be like, woof, boy, that day was rotten. Um, but, you know, be like, it's all right. I'm back on it today. I'm, I'm feeling it again, and and uh, I'm inspired again, and, and it's, it's, you know, I can make up for uh, what wasn't working yesterday. I mean, those days are just going to happen. It's not the end of the world, you know. It's the same thing with writing. Some days some days you just have it in you and some days you don't. Um, Denny O'Neill, my old writing teacher, said that he would write five pages a day no matter what because uh, it was a lot easier to go back and edit five pages terrible pages of writing than to write five pages from scratch and it's the same with uh, it's the same with drawing sometimes if you're just having a crap day but you've got stuff to do it's you just plow ahead and get what you can done and then you come back and it's easier to it's easier to fix stuff than it is to do stuff from nothing. Unless it's so bad that it's easier to start over. <laughs> and sometimes, I, sometimes it actually is. Sometimes I literally have just taken whatever it was I've done and just, uh-oh, try that again uh, sometimes I have taken what I've done and just you know seen it for what it was and uh, checked it and started over I think a lot of times when you're um, you know trying to get better as an artist it's very easy to um, be proud of what you accomplished. You know, you're like, oh my God, that's so much better than any other thing I did. Uh, and be proud of that. And while that's fine and good, it stops you from being objective and being honest with yourself and saying, yeah, okay, that's good, but... it." Is it where I really need to be? And when you're just so proud that you did this or that, you don't take the time to uh, still be honest with yourself and say, 
okay, I'm proud that I accomplished this and did better than I've ever did before. But if I, it, but if I take this and I put it against next to the artist I really love, it still has a hundred miles to go to be in the same ballpark as those people. And you have to be able and willing to do that with your own work. You have to be able to be your own worst critic. And, and, ah, be hard on yourself and push yourself all the time to be like, okay, that was good. I'm proud of this, what I did. Uh, but now, I gotta go further. I gotta keep going. I gotta push harder. I gotta keep, you know, pushing myself to go uh, take things to the next level. If you're just proud of what you did today and you don't push yourself. You're never going to get anywhere. And what I was really driving at is what that means is that you, you can't be precious with your art. No matter how proud you are of what you just did, if it's not right, good golly, Miss Molly. Ugh. If it's not right, if it's not right for the piece, if it's not right for what you're trying to do, if it's just not good enough, <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to just, no matter, no matter what, you have to be willing to just take it and say, well, I liked that, I was proud of it, but you know what? It wasn't good enough. It wasn't enough. And you have to be willing to take it and throw it aside and start over. This, all of this is entirely... This upper, the, the right upper leg is way too long all of this should be what up here yep which means all of this should then in turn up here and even then, this, where this foot touches the ground, this foot should be almost where this foot is. And look at that difference. So that's a thing I need to talk about in another video. When you're drawing, you should, I need to talk about dropping, dropping parallel lines and, you know, dropping horizontal and vertical lines in your head to, to do measurements to see where things are. Where does, where does this shoulder drop in relation to the knee? You know, where does, where does this line drop? Where does the hand drop? Where does this elbow drop in relation with the leg? Um, you know, where does, where does this foot is in relation with this? Where does the edge of this foot? foot in relation with uh, the torso, right? Or these are things constantly, like where does the earlobe fall in relationship with the shoulder? Um, dropping vertical lines and horizontal lines going across, where does the bottom of the chin you know, measure with uh, the the neck and then the arm and whatever, so dropping 
vertical and horizontal lines to measure things is something you should be doing constantly um, to, uh, to, to make sure your drawings are um, accurate. And this is a colossal giant mess. So this is um, a huge... Uh, giant, I would like to call it a failure, but it's not a failure. It is a, um, it is a learning experience. <laughs> uh, today I learned, um, boy, oh boy, today I did a terrible job and I, uh, I learned that I am uh, off today and uh, uh, I just don't have the feel today for it and and uh, it shows it shows awfully. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe I would come back and take a second look at this later and see if, uh, uh, I can improve things, say if I can take a better look at it, or maybe I'll, I'll go over, um, the figure itself and, and see what I can glean from that and, uh, see how that can improve things. So maybe we'll take a second look at this in a little while. So for now, uh, ouch.